Okay, hello. Uh, today we're going to demonstrate how to buy and sell stocks on the Interactive Brokers platform. Alright, so uh, let's go very quickly to the uh, Interactive Brokers website, ibkr.sg. Alright, and uh, once you come upon uh, this website, you would have to click to login. Alright. And you should know your uh, login credentials. Right? After you perform the login, uh, the system will ask you to uh, do a little bit of verification uh, on your mobile phone. All right? So all you have to do uh, is to respond to that. Alright, uh, I've gone on to my phone and I've used my uh, thumbprint to uh, actually verify my access. Okay, and now uh, I've uh, logged into the main website. Alright, and as you can see, uh, you can uh, get information on uh, your portfolio. Alright, you could uh, look at your portfolio here. Alright, and what I'm going to do now is that uh, I'm going to find something to sell so that I can uh, free up some space on my portfolio All right, to perform a buy. And uh, one of the uh, closest candidates that I could possibly sell, okay, uh, is the uh, A35 counter, which is the uh, ABF Singapore Bond Index Fund. All right. So uh, let me just uh, sell uh, basically my 800 shares of ABF, and I could always buy them back. Uh, later in the future all right now it's a very bullish market and uh, I'm just releasing some of my bonds uh, to make my portfolio a lot more aggressive all right take note that the code uh, is a35 for the ABF Singapore bond fund so let's uh, sell all 800 units of it so I go to trade okay and I create a new order and I key in a35 okay and you can see the Singapore bond fund uh, show up Okay, and I'm going to sell all 800. I'm going to sell quantity of 800. Okay, and uh, let's look at the upper price of 1.233. Right, sorry, the lower price. Uh. So uh, we will be uh, trying to uh, sell all of this. And uh, I'm going to uh, submit. Oh, sorry. Uh, it's supposed to be a sell order. Okay, so uh, I'm going to sell 800. Okay, 1.233. Okay, and I'm going to submit my sell order here. Alright, uh, they will prompt you just uh, accept three times. Okay, and they will just tell you that the order has been filled when you actually sell it. Alright, so, okay, let's see what happens uh, after you sell it. Uh, if you go to uh, under home, alright, uh, sorry, let's get back to the portfolios page. Uh, you'll be able to see this uh, plus sign here. And uh, as you click onto the plus sign, all right, you'll be able to see that uh, it has freed up uh, some available funds for you to actually trade into the markets. All right. So what I'm going to do next is that I'm going to perform a buy. All right. So for beginners who want to figure out how to actually buy shares uh, on interactive brokers, just pay very careful attention uh, to what we have here. All right. And uh, looking at um, the stocks, what we're going to do is that uh, it's a bullish market and uh, I'm going to look for this counter known as uh, Credit Bureau Asia. All right, so Credit Bureau Asia, all right, and the code is TCU. All right, so I'm going to perform a buy. Okay, I'm going to click trade and I'm going to create a new order and buy. And uh, let's see what happens uh, when we uh, use the Credit Bureau as a search bar. Okay, I think Credit Bureau is one word. Okay, and uh, you'll be able to find Credit Bureau here and it's selling at 148. Okay, now we're not going to buy a lot. Okay, uh, we've only freed up about uh, $800 uh, of spare cash. So what I'm going to do is that uh, I'm simply going to just buy uh, 400 units of Credit Bureau Asia. All right, now I set the limit price to uh, 148. All right, and uh, because this is the price that the market is uh, willing to sell at, okay, and uh, I click buy order. All right, and uh, that they will prompt you multiple times. 
okay and the order has been filled okay okay and uh, this is very simply how you perform buy and sell operations uh, using interactive brokers uh, Singapore uh, thank you very much